Hi, and welcome to Sewing Bites. Today we're gonna to go over how to change your needle if you break it, and we're gonna talk a little bit about needles in general. So here's my model of a home sewing machine needle. You'll see it has a rounded side and it has a flat side. The flat side is always inserted into the machine with the flat side facing the back of the machine. Now there are some older machines, um, some like the Featherweight, the Singer Featherweight, there's some older Singers, uh, there's a Kenmore where the flat side is not inserted to the back, but modern machines by and large, your flat side of your needle is going to face the back of the machine. Now this part of the needle is called the shank. Right here we have the long groove and the side where the long groove is, that's where your thread is always going to be inserted into the needle. So wherever your long groove is, it's gonna go in that side and out the other. And then on the other side, this cutout right here is called the scarf. That's where the hook in your sewing machine passes by and grabs the thread as the needle goes down in toward your bobbin case. And uh, that's where your thread is picked up. So that is, that's a big giant needle. Let's move on. All right, we're back at our singer. So let's change a needle. We're gonna pretend like this one's broken. And you're going to take the screwdriver that came with your machine. This one just came with this cheesy little triangle screwdriver. It's effective, but you know, it's still cheesy. And what you're gonna do is you're going to use it to just loosen this screw. So give it a little turn and then use your hand to just loosen it. I usually, I keep my finger on the needle and put a little pressure on it just so it doesn't drop into the machine. Once your needle clamp, is, uh, needle clamp screw is loosened, just pull straight down and the needle comes out. If you broke the needle and it broke really high up, you can put a piece of fabric under your presser foot just so that if it does fall down, it's gonna fall on the fabric and not into the machine. Um, that's you know something you can try. Now to put a new needle in, you're gonna grab your new needle. The flat side of the needle is going to face backwards. That's very important. You're gonna drop the tip in between the presser foot and lift straight up into the needle clamp. Now, the needle has to be inserted all the way, so tap it a little bit, feel it hitting the ceiling, as I like to say. Like, you'll feel that it's up all the way. Once it's inserted all the way, you're just gonna hand tighten this needle clamp screw. And you don't wanna over tighten it. It is a hollow screw, so it can break. It can also be fixed. I mean, if you break it, it's not a, like you didn't break your machine, but you're gonna have to get a new needle clamp. Um, so anyway, now you're done. That's all there is to changing a needle on your sewing machine. Make sure the long groove of the needle is facing you. And once that's done, you're ready to thread your machine and start sewing again. All right, here we are zoomed into our needle clamp. We just inserted a new needle and you can see the top of the needle right here above the needle clamp. And then there's a stopper above it. And that's the ceiling you hit when you're pushing the needle all the way up. And I said, tap, tap, and make sure you feel it hitting the ceiling before you tighten the screw. Um, not every machine is going to have that, but most singers do. So check your machine, see if that applies. If you can't see the needle above the needle clamp, it's not a big deal. Just make sure you're tapping it up and you feel the needle is inserted all the way up before you tighten it down. All right, and then just remember long groove is gonna face you. And after you have the needle in and it's tightened down, you are ready to thread your machine and start sewing again. Good luck and thank you for watching Sewing Bites.